Hello everybody, Denier98 back here, and today I thought about maybe doing a little cooking video, and this is my dad's spaghetti meat sauce recipe, got it right here. Hi everybody, so today what I did was kind of laid out some ingredients for you guys to kind of see how we do this. It's a very simple recipe, very simple sauce, but it always turns out to be phenomenal, and it's one of Devin's favorite dishes, so we thought we'd put this out here for you guys today. So we've got, we're going to obviously take some uh, ground hamburger, your choice, lean or non-lean. We use mushrooms, combination of garlic, some Worcestershire sauce, and garlic salt. And then the sauce we chose for today is one of our favorites, the Classico Four Cheese. And then obviously you have your spaghetti noodles. Uh, we saute our garlic and our mushrooms in our virgin oil with our mushroom, or our garlic, and our Worcestershire sauce. So we're going to heat up the pans and get ready to get started on this right now. I'm going to show you how we do this. Oil, we use a little bit more than your traditional oil just because we're doing two things. We're doing garlic and mushrooms. We've got the water over here set to boil. We're waiting on that to get hot and start cruising along. So we're going to allow this oil to heat up and the water to heat up and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, we've got the oil hot enough oil. Let that saute for just a minute. And Devin and I like a lot of garlic, so we're going to use quite a bit here. One of our favorite things in the world. So we're going to blend that in with the oil. Let that saute for just a sec. And we're going to come back in here and add our mushrooms. If we've diced up inside the box, we like kind of a chunky sauce. So we like bigger chunks of mushrooms and um, our meat too as well is uh, fairly sizable uh, at times so we like our stuff a little chunky. So we're going to let this saute for just a second then we're going to add our mushrooms in so we'll be back here in just a second. Okay so now our garlic's getting to the point where it's getting a little clear in the oil so this is a good time to go ahead and add our mushrooms. We're going to throw those in. A lot of them. Throw that away. We're going to get this all stirred up here real quick. Kind of get these mushrooms mixed in with the garlic. That way they kind of saute together. Kind of brings out the flavor of everything when you throw that garlic in there. Now since we like ours a little saltier, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic salt to this. Just kind of salt to your taste whenever you guys uh, go to start making this yourself. So we're going to throw a little garlic salt on top of that to accentuate the flavor of the garlic too as well. I'm let this simmer for just a minute. Looks like our water's starting to boil so we're going to add our spaghetti noodles here real quick. By the way, if any of you people are allergic to some of these ingredients, you can either take them out or replace them with some other ingredients that you like. Devin and I are pretty big pasta eaters, so usually go with a little bit uh, heavy pasta. And I generally will add a little bit of oil to the water. Keeps the noodles from sticking to as well while it's boiling. And we're done with that. Oil goes away. Now we're going to continue to stir our mushrooms and everything until they start getting a little soft. One of the things that we like to add to this is uh, Worcestershire sauce. It gives a little deeper flavor. Use your sauce of preference. And once again, that'll add a little bit more of a salty taste to those mushrooms too as well. But you'll notice once we blend this in with the uh, hamburger, that really brings out extremely good flavor, it kind of brings out the natural flavor of the mushrooms too as well when you put that in there. So we're going to let this simmer down for just a little bit and we'll be back in just a second. Okay guys, those are starting to simmer down the way we like them. We're going to go ahead and add our hamburger meat and we're going to kind of slowly blend this in. Now, I'm not going to use the whole um, two pounds of hamburger meat, usually pound, pound and a half. We like a little bit of excess so we're going to add a little bit more in there than normal. 
just because we'll eat on this for a couple of days. It's like our favorite favorite thing to eat for a couple of days. Do it, do it right. But like I said, we like our we like our sauce really chunky and meaty. So I'm gonna do the same thing with the meat that I did also with the uh, mushrooms. Is I'm gonna add some garlic salt and some Worcestershire, just because that's how we like it. Pretty much doubling the amount. I'm using a big enough pan that I can push those mushrooms back out of the way, let the meat basically uh, cook up a little bit without affecting those, but that's kind of the texture that Devin and I like for these mushrooms to hit is um, soft, but not too soft. Um, and that kind of keeps everything in check for us. We're going to let this meat brown up here real quick, and we're going to watch our noodles, get the strainers and stuff out. We'll be back here in just a second. Okay, so what we did was we went in here and put everything together. We got all our mushrooms, our garlic, and our hamburger all together. And all the uh, juice and everything that's floating around in there. Some people would tell you to drain this at this point. Strain all that juice out. But I say, nay, we're not going to do that. We're going to leave that in there because that adds a majority of the flavor. Back to the sauce. We're going to check our noodles. See how our pasta is doing. It's looking good. It's almost ready. Got a few pieces still stuck in there together. Break those up a little bit. Got our traditional strainer in the sink ready for a drain out on everything. But now, we're going to go ahead and add our sauce. And how much of a jar do we use? We use a full jar um, whenever we do this. As I find that if you don't use a full jar, you're just wasting some sauce. Now if there's a little left over, put a little dash of water in there, put the lid on, shake it up. You'll see that's still got a little bit of thickness to it, more like sauce. Dump that in there. Throw the jar away or recycle in your perspective states. Now we're going to blend all this together. Now we've got Parmesan sauce that we, or excuse me, Parmesan cheese. Then you've got the grated stuff, or you've got actual real Parmesan. We use a little bit of both whenever we finish up here. But you'll kind of notice the sauce will go from a red to kind of a light reddish brown hue. It blends in with all of that juice from the hamburger and the mushrooms and the Worcestershire sauce. And that really gives it a little bit more of an authentic type of spaghetti sauce taste and feel to it. So we're going to let that simmer for just a minute. Turn the heat down on it just a little bit. As I press the pause. Oh, okay. Never mind, I didn't. <laughs> Having finger issues over there. Apparently so. Okay, noodles look like they are done. So we're gonna pull those out, and strain those off. pasta back to the pan that it was made in because now we're going to take all that sauce and we're going to dump it right in the middle of all that pasta. Then there's going to be mixing it up. That's right. And we're going to grab that that ladle or the uh, spaghetti fork. That is ready to serve, buddy. I'm hungry, so it's not going to take very long to tear into this. Start knocking a dent in that. 
So at the end of the day, you've got a very, very flavor, flavorful sauce mixed in with some really high grade quality pasta and a flavor that just sticks with you and makes you want to eat the whole pan in one setting which is virtually impossible unless you're really 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 bottomless pit kinda of like Devin so he'll eat three and a half pounds of this five pound pot tonight but that's the ingredients that's the process I hope that works for you guys hope you enjoy the flavor if you get the opportunity to cook it I have a big stomach for Italian food. <laughs> if you want me to maybe film some more cooking related videos, let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you next time.